Moshi Moshi my gamers and welcome back to Honkai Style Wheel. Although the negotiation puzzle was a little uncertain at times, at least everyone is happy with the results. With Black Swan's company, you should be able to avoid any danger in the wheel memory zone. Enter the call that Silv gave you into the dream pool and prepare to witness the true nature of the dreamscape. Today, we are returning back to the dreamscape with Black Swan. Memories. Are you there yet? Excuse me, I wonder actually if there's any recommendation for things I needed for traveling. Hmm, why was he pay so bad? The Express has everything. This is anything you need. You don't need to bring anything. Do you prefer a change of clothes? The Express really is the best. Although, hearing you say that makes you worry even more. Ah, uh, what else do I need to take with me? I've only got a short amount of vacation time, but I haven't even decided where I can travel to. I want to prepare my luggage, then select my destination, then I can just set off by the way. Hmm. Um. Are you not scared traveling now? Are you not scared traveling alone? What if you run into bad people? I'm not scared. I decide I'm going to learn from you, Callus. I'm going to buy a baseball bat to protect myself. Remember this in a picture. I don't matter where you are, pictures can be always made as close together. You saw your false land? Do these no place have a name? What play are they one? Can you visit without any invitation? You can go whatever you like. These no place are on the planet of Hollow 6, outside the town of Battle Block. You're free to go wherever you like. Wait, I had to go and see this place. Speaking with you, hold on. Speaking with you makes me so happy. I feel like I always start on my dream adventure. You have to tell me more next time. Okay, now that's done. Let's enter it. Welcome the cult. to Penacony, honored guest. Lie down in the dream pool. Okay, time to go to bed. Uh, oh yeah, Sylph so gives a call too. Yeah, from the last episode. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. Oh! You just you just call me darling? Oh ho ho, I like the way she said it though. I mean Kako probably feels like you wrong? Are you not feeling well? Kako feels like Did you just call my boy darling? I'm gonna kill you, boy. Hmm, I feel fine. <laughs> That's good then. I know you're more sensitive to memoria. Thus, more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. Yeah. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. Oh yeah. Hold up. Can I check? <gasps> Chest! Oh wait, is this in spate? Oh, it is. That's Dory Dory! In this big lobby? Damn, okay. I guess he's not one about that actually. Okay. March! Yeah. Well, it's all enemies. Did we really say that this is March Sims? Well, let's wait. In first, shall we awaken here? March, are you there? You're not, but there's no response. Are you in there? We are about to set off. You're not again, but there's no response. March, it's me, Callus. You're not, and there's still no response. I know what you're thinking, but alas, that girl isn't in there. And neither is this her room. The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Okay, thanks for the information. These poor little things stumbling about. Strange, there appears to be someone else's presence here. Not just us. Hmm, I'm suspicious who it could uh, be from last time. Her? How is this possible? Oh, never mind. Oh, look who it is. Are there no staff members here at all? Huh? What are you doing here? Hmm. Uh, you know each other? Yes. She's the memo keeper I mentioned. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. Oh, gonna kill them. How the 
you're so nice and positive. Ow, what's your bye bye booba? Well, more just booba. Don't you do that. Okay, no, that, that's tough, so that's good. Black Swan doing a job. We'll be okay, but you boy. Ooh, more just getting low. Press I. Ooh. That's nice, I like that. Stay right there while I give you a present! Hey, Meanwhile, I'll just press E on... The seal of ill fate descends. <laughs> Boom bomb. Stand still. Cut the exploded. Net. Take this. Oh, that was quick. Oh, what the hell? It is double damage. Is that like a bomb? If they get killed? Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. It's probably not as complicated as it sounds. It's all thanks to a masked fool. Oh yeah, that foxy young girl. They unwittingly hurt her. And then in a flash of kaleidoscopic light, I ended up here. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? <laughs> I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, I guess that's true. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. We can try. We can trust. We can trust Arjunon. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be here. Her name is I can't even say it. Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. Okay, can I even. Okay, hold on. Let me look for Trust Me at the same time. We'll do this. A turn of fate. Okay, the door is locked. I'm just chilling around for some chests before we move on. Anywhere? Anywhere? Nope, not this one. Okay. Now, oh, what's this? No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I was trying to collect this. Collect. Mm, nice. Okay. Um, let me check my phone. Another one. Why is there another one? Oh, no sticker. That's what it is. Okay. I don't need no no sticker. What I do need is this. More and more important. Persons has taken into stage. The dreams keep is drowned by deep waters, and the future is enlightened in threats. Every step you take leads to the unknown and mysteries. Do you see the two women of you besides you at the time? If you had to make a choice, which one would you prefer to control your future? Hmm. Oh, I only believe in myself. You soon need the right to choose. You rather go to war against fate alone. Any single of kindness could be a clawfage. All's fail in the war between the storm, then take the joy on your own and carry through your stubborn and lonely trailblaze. Yeah. Okay. That's one thing down. Ooh, stickers of enemies. That seems very fun. Then grab this. And then grab this. So apparently, no stickers. Those apparently count? I didn't know that. Oh, and they go back. Let me head back, where is it? What about these? Leave alone! Okay, let out of here. Shouldn't this be healing? Ah, oh, teleport so far, you know, I should be fine, my team be fine. I was gonna touch as healing. Hmm, I could deal with that later. The puzzle piece. Now we go forward. Open the gate. This room. Why is it upside down? The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Acheron. Okay, got it. We have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. 
And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. Chase me the ways. Oh, the enemies around here too, but I don't care about that. How about it? Can you feel the memoria flowing around you? Just, just right there, Next, but... find a suitable spot and try walking up the wall. I don't care about you. No, 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 no. Let me out! Let me out! Oh! Okay. Huh. Aha! You, oh, you still well? I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight anyone. It worked. You really can walk up walls. <laughs> of course. The memory zone of this level is mere child's play to a no, memo. No, 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 no. Come on, let's head out through the front door. Nope, I'm gone. This is just floating. I could collect this. That's fine by me. I'm gone. That's only two. Huh. Yeah. Like that. Touch this. You're a natural, aren't you? You're a prodigy at remembrance. Hmm, hold on. Nothing here. But just like there. Okay, that. Oh, one button. Okay, there's a chest over here I could touch. Oh, there's another side. Hilarious. Press the button. Black swan. Now the gates, I found it. Now, next location, wise. Ooh, open sesame again. Hmm, oh. HP, good, we need those. What? Um, okay. Hey, we found something I need to go. Oh, that's so, oh, that's so cool, look at that transformation. Hmm, another sticker collected. Ugh, one button again. I have to press this. Yeah, we got another sticker collected. Oh, it's just a lost arm number two, apparently? Okay, that's good. Uh, let's check out the location. Huh? Oh! <gasps> ah! A dinosaur! We've uh arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. Okay, take the elevator. Okay, any chest around here? Nope. See, I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? Now, this one, though, is red. <sighs> this door is locked, too. There's no end to this. Let me try. You see the memo keeper close her eyes. She is searching the room in almost telepathic way, even every hook, nook, and cranny outside the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method, so you two, please give me a little time. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape. There are members of the family, and some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, three... That's, that's Firefly too. Wait. Three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait, it's the girl who was with you. Firefly? What's she doing here? It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... is she running? No, running away? Something's right behind her. This is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. Door open? Oh, look at that. It just appealed. All right. There's no time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. Okay. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. 
Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might, and shape them in your mind. I caught some very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. Hurry, through here. At least in these cutscenes, she, at least what she's talking about, I could still do these while she's talking. That's what I prefer. Now, any chests around here? Nope, no chests. Okay. Leave. The gate shuts. Your thoughts stirred by the swelling current and pulled along. The sand into the deep abyss sinking. When the hatch opens again, what sights will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide any answer. And in the sky of a flood, darkness flows from your chest to your throat. Suffocation echoes you from within. Then a voice emerged. I saw scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and whispered to me, Why do people choose to sleep? I think the final sight escapes is unknown, the words are unknown. They're afraid to awaken from the dream. Watch out! A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone. Be on your guard. Hmm. Lady for mud. <gasps> Does some buzz around you? It's off. Chip, I'm just trying with you. What's one chip? Lady Vermilion is looking for you. Eh? Aren't, aren't I here with her, Chip? Yes, Lady Vermilion doesn't know why I'm back. This is embarrassing. I mean, you're next to her. That's kind of funny. Look at that doing them. Help them. Oh yeah, look at these chests. Can't even go this way. Although, yeah, be careful where you're going. Chests around this area, you see, I... What danger they're talking about. How's that danger? Unless there's something else, though. I just see her. Firefly! Oh, I can't even get that. <sighs> Aww. <laughs> no, those two. Okay, yeah. Was she not real the whole time? That's that blood. That looks like the pool. I mean, this is a dream world, so... I highly doubt she's really dead. Unless confirmation she is. You alright? I have a theory. It's a possibility that... Well, it's like a dignable situation. If you die in this virtual version, you'll wake up from the real world. Like, oh, what just happened? <sighs> she has to be alive. Otherwise, we don't know. Because most people believe she's still alive, but I mean, still dead, but I don't know. Is this a dream? Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right? Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. Okay. She's pressing her boots against me to be calm down. <sighs> hmm. That that was too sudden. I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March Seventh's safety, and warn them. Another theory too, I just realized, um, it's a probably that she could be dead, because it's like, if you're dreaming, you die, then yeah, you're dead. But again, we have no confirmation if she's dead or not. I'll leave him to you, Miss Acheron. I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. 
It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. No. I'm sorry. I don't know if she's dead because that doesn't look like her actual blood, you know? It could be a fake cut or a, that's part of the dream of if you get killed and you wake up. It's not your fault. But if in that moment I chose to draw my blade. <sighs> sorry, I. I had no choice. Hmm. She didn't have a choice either. I understand your anger, and I will accept it. But this isn't the time. We should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding, and how to fight them. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself, and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, no compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. And then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you, from someone burdened with a blood debt. And she's back. That was quick. I'm back. Hello. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. Okay. What's up? The milk has over a mummy bubble, signaling for you to press it against your forehead. You do as to strut in the bone chain corners boost your body, which is created into the clear image. Hmm, you see Himiko and Mari stand together, obstructed by the family. Black Swan stands beside her, nosing the unnoticed by the family. I understand. So that's the family? Okay. Momo is in the bubble came to an end. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let us reach a safe place before speaking again. Miss Black Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? Mm, I don't recommend that. His mental state is unstable, so we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. Also, while we're departing, we can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I, um, I have some unfinished business. Hmm. You watch as... <laughs> How did I forget her name, Letty? Um, Archon turns away. You remember that it was there that she dissolved into a mere illusion. You see her pause, lips pursed, eyes downcast. At the moment, she hunches down as if gathering something with her hands and rises again. May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. <sighs> your tits. Let's go. Okay. This way. Investigate. A half faded cell phone lies on the floor, catching an instant message with a snapshot he took from wearing a smile. You pick it up. Your cell phone has completely disappeared in a dream bubble. That seems sad. But again, I'll say it again. I highly doubt she is 100% dead. I mean, she can be dead because this is a dream world, right? Because if you're actually dead, like think about it. In taking Wolpa, your blood is pink in the, that virtual world. But in real life, your real blood is, pink, is, is red. So highly chance she's still alive. But this game, they better say they're still alive because I don't think she's dead. Okay, there are enemies around here, but we gotta be careful where we're moving. I know they're weak. Hold up. Is there a chest back here? No, this. Oh, there's. Okay. Let me make sure. So apparently, we are going around here and everything. You know, What's you see me. What's going on? Why is it nope, 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 getting nope. hot in the. Hot in the what? These are all charred remains. They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now then. 
I should let us finish talking, but here's the problem. There was an enemy behind us, so what can I do about it? Investigate the charred remains. Okay. The remains of the creature bells now in deep research. The with Invents traces of chilling inflected by intense burning. A few sparks dance and flickers within, resembling shadow star depart toys. Eons of. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. I can't even say the woman not like I used to. Mm. Damn, look at Black Swan's ass. I was smacking but Cap can be present. What the hell? Glad the lens is rubbing my ass. The remains of the creatures. Poised by an unknown weapon, but falls in a tissue that has been submersed reported the weapon due to intentional heat. You can't approach any closer. The steam escaping from the shattered body with a totally scorched you. Looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. By my thighs. Hmm. And then another one. Oh, more stickers. Okay, we got more stickers to collect them here. I will place it by here. The last one. Hmm, should I read these? Because I don't there's any point. But we do get those. Okay, which one is 100% though? Actually, I need to take a closer look real quick. Any notes? No, these are just characters. Okay, that's only 100%. That's only one. Okay. What about this one? There's no no stickers there, apparently, so I guess we'll move on from that. Okay, investigate. The surface of this creature's remains appear unmarkable, yet at the hand's gaze it is seen heat transfer to your figure sense to your drawing back as it is struck by an electric shock. Without a doubt, a freeze in photo word with the remains that's probably longer to break free from the confines, for secrecy is best to keep it distance. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that the remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Okay. Oh, like these ones? Hmm, like that. Hold up. Is there a chest here? Oh, okay, you can't go any further. There's nothing here. Okay. So, going this way. Look. Upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. <laughs> Look how she says it, like, as if there were memes. Hmm, always... I could go down if I wanted to, but no, I'm gonna be safe and do this for now. Open the gate! This is truly a magnificent... It's this room then? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. Hmm. Uh, are you going to teach me how to place through walls now? You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Still Small remember what I taught you? you said, huh? Feel the flow of the memoria. Walk up the wall and then get close to it. Okay. In check with unused bubble towers will increase the number of bubble charges that can be used. Another bubble charge can be created by Tad Galaxy's 5. Ooh, 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 ooh. We need to watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm going to box off us. Yeah. Back up, bitch. Hold up. Naked boy! I want boy! Duh! Okay, fine. I guess I'll go this way first. Oh boy, there's enemies around here. Huh. I mean, I could fight if I wanted to. Oh no! I'm not here! My fat ass is not here where you're standing. 
Yeah, you keep looking that way. Oh boy, there's another one right there too. So do I have to walk back? I can't get one at a time. Mmm, this would be annoying. Huh, so what do we have to go do this apparently? Can I get close to it? Oh, that's because I walk away. Okay, I can do it twice. Okay, touch those, touch those, touch those. Ooh, yay, three! Nice, nice, nice. I need three. Okay, now we go down. Okay, that's kind of weird. I could do that from where I was standing. So that means I'm gonna collect the one from here. And do this. Okay, nice. You don't see me. No, you don't. I said, no, you don't. Ooh. Look at that. The TV is so static -y. I'm going to wait till he moves. Wait until he walks back. Wait until he walks back. He's an idiot. Okay. Now we gotta touch this apparently? Look, hmm. a solitary chain. Go say hello to it. With my tits! Huh. huh! Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice soft landing. Okay, here we go. Ooh, so bouncy. We landed safely. This is amazing. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well, wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Oh, there's a, there's a monkey. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh shit. He seems big. You just sold it away, my girl? Oh boy, some enemies. Hey, calm down. You're buying Kafka. Oh great. Another walk in the park. There goes we got. There goes one wheels against the monkey. Again, ill tiding man. Take this. Yeah, that must be painful, huh? You're in that shape. Relax. May as well kill them all. Okay, take this. Oh ho ho, that is nice. Explode. Hey yo, come down. What is this music in the background though? Sure it does. Want to switch the real one? Oh, 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 okay, yeah, you need healing. Heal, heal, heal. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Oh my god, that's not good. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly my blessed turn. me. Yep. Watch this! Stand still. The thread of the ill fate defend. Naughty children, nap time. That breathing sensation. Okay, do this. Marge, Black Swan, and Kafka. Oh, okay, never mind. Sometimes She's about to die. Check out this awesome move. Goodbye, monkey. Monkey's going down. Yeah, Marge, finish it off. No one will disturb us now. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Oh, what is it? You just struck my dick while I was staying up alone with that lady watching the corner. What are you two doing? He was she wants to do it, not me! What she wanna do it? She's probably horny. Yank it off. Chip, what are you doing, Chip? I see you even walking Chip. So annoying. Everyone always checking off Chip. How can they be good dream bills like the kind of I'm love Chip? Please can you help me warm them, do you guess? I'm going to find a complaint with Lady Bully Chip. A fire complaint? Eh. Okay. So, what's up? Are you ready? <laughs> Don't be too surprised. Um, okay. Is that... Firefly? 
Yes, it's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Hmm. She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. I guess. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. That's true though. But how how come for sure that's really her like being dead though? She meant thinking of you. She okay, sure he said this. Are they all the same things? If I could try again. She stares at the screens. Is she looking at herself in the mirror? What does she mean by try again? Hmm. Who knows, you know. Oh, wait. Let's get going. Let's? Is there someone else? Hmm. She working with someone? Calm down, Firefly. Stay calm. She seems very nervous. Yes. What is making her so nervous? Hmm. With all this in mind, Firefly and her companion, there should only be one, have entered this corridor together. Hmm. Yeah, that seems so suspicious now, the sudden what she's been doing behind our backs. Behind our backs, apparently. Huh. Is that you? Who could it be? This isn't what we agreed on. This is getting really fact of what we did last episode. The situation has changed, and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. And chose to go after Firefly, huh? So this way can't even enter it, so I guess we'll go this way now. Why? Oh, that name's broken as well. Okay, I remember. Who forced her to go that way? And Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal. A tall male in silver armor. Oh yeah. Well I haven't seen that person yet. Unless today's episode we could see that person. The door it won't open. It's a dead end. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the watchmaker. And that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless there's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Yep, make this off. Huh? What are you doing? Um, hello, why are you walking out to one way to another? There you go. Chip, that was the little girl who went past you on the chip earlier, Chip. I finally found a place to for some thinking, but people keep coming to disturb me. I look at a little quiet place, Chip. Okay, go back to your mother. And there's a chest for you. Sing weddings? Based on she mentioned they okay. might have had. Do you mean there's Joey something else? Joey said this. Okay, nothing different. Open the gate. Yeah, 
keep Unpredictable walking. pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Hmm. Unpredictable pathways point. Okay, should we said this? I'm queen just in case any difference. No, it's just on that side. What is these two? The door? Okay, no will. Huh. You'll be here. Okay, that way. I hope so. Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Unfortunately. Yeah, she said it twice. Okay, open up. What's next? And. She thought she had escaped, but. Disturbing. Yeah, I know. After that, it's the end. Everyone, over there. Who's that standing over there? You guys see that? It what is that? Like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Stellaron Hunter Sam. Oh. <laughs> hey, you <he> knows. <laughs> Careful. Oh! Jealousy Ranger. I know that figure. A memo keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt. Or else all of you die here. Oh! So that was what Syl was talking with. The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. This is like a final boss fight. Oh, that kick is weak! Oh, this music though. What the hell? We'll do it twice. With Kafka. Memories are ever changing. Choke him! He goes I toy the mommy. He said mommy? Anyways, Kafka, take him down. 40k? Ooh, she's doing the most. Okay. You're in that shape. May as well kill them all. Swing at him. Swing at his dick? I mean oh. I will set the seas ablaze. Wait, why is the fire on on that? What is even going on? Oh, that's why, okay. Okay, we gotta chill then. My turn. Oh, the weakness now shows. Next time. Only attack in the meantime. Sensation. <laughs> Weak. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Oh, you mean Civil Wolf? What are you doing oh, now? Trying to kill us? Operations. That shit was weak, boy! Yeah, it's not working. Okay, we gotta watch HP though, we gotta watch HP. Stand still. There's no way to do. There's like some dubstep background music I'm listening. I like it though. Ooh, not yet. I'm gonna wait. Again? Oh boy. Okay, we are ultimately low, so. Okay, four, one, two, and I. Everyone attack! Heal us, doctor. Thanks. You're too good to me. Okay, please. Check out this awesome move! Good times, never Go, much. Kafka. Time to say bye. Boom. Boom. 
25k. Memories are ever Choke him. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> yeah, choke him down. Grab his cock. Oh, I'm pressing W. Here, all yours. Relax. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start shielding people. Stay right there while I give you a present. You know that bunch you. Ooh, yeah, that's painful. I mean, it's not a big deal. Not going to hurt. Um, okay, I'm going to get black swan. Here comes the medicine. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> that does more than a bolt! <laughs> oh boy. Okay, she might die in this fight! <laughs> okay, Kako dead. Uh oh. Just in time. Just a little something. That wasn't supposed to happen, Capcom dead! Thanks a lot. What would you like, huh? Try that again! Hmm. You have the worst luck running into me! Shield, I don't lose. care what you gonna try to do to me. Naughty children, don't listen. Okay, um. It's her. <laughs> Thanks, I What's so small? Sometimes. What's going on, guys? Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Can I push you to death? Oh yeah, I could. <laughs> I mean, I could, but. You can't run! Like, nope. Again? Okay, this dude's crazy! Here comes the medicine. Yep, there you go. The thread memories are ever changing beneath the silent waters. Slides an endless abyss! Choke him! Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing. Dang, Kakov carried most of it, and now I went to the rest with her without her. Truly blessed me. <laughs> My turn. So if I actually right there while I give you a present. That's painful. You can't run! <laughs> Now she will destruct it. Now what over here might. All better now. Thanks a lot. Yeah, doing that. Choke it's you down. Freeze again. This awesome move. <laughs> okay, I believe we're doing just fine now. Oh my god, you gonna do this again! That's okay. What would you like to know? <laughs> Just in time. Just a oh, little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Oh, yes, it did. It makes no difference then, apparently, if he's made your ability. Which that's completely fine with me. <laughs> Yeah, be fine. Don't you worry. The threat is my E and blast it away. Your defense getting low because of my ability, so. It's not a lot, but you know what? It's better than nothing. And you do it again. This is disappointing, dude. You have the worst She's still standing. Oh, okay, yep, you're going low. With me out here, how could we lose? 
This is what I'm gonna do. I am going to heal March and do it for you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Destry's hand has truly we'll lost If I have Bilo, then yeah, Check Kaka could be alive. <laughs> so you think I'm dead, boy? Okay, came and finish you. Oh, you almost done! Finish him, March! Not yet, okay, never mind. Try that again. Oh my god, how strong are you? What are you doing? Oh, look at this battle. With a baseball bat! <laughs> She the just... grand stage to them, my dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a show. You've been watching us? Huh, coward. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. Hmm. Hmm. You two are in this together. <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. That's true. From that galaxy ranger. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Okay. Hmm. No way. Archon was right there at the sea. It couldn't have been her. She was there? Wait, what? <laughs> You're kidding. Oh my, this just got even more interesting. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Hmm. I fallen before. Nicely done. As expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. As I expected. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. 
The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? Hmm. It was, Akalon. The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panacone. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, Follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Yeah. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon. Uh, can I really believe Aventurine? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. I mean, we could, but... Hmm... She could be digging up silly plans behind his back, you know, but... My, my. You look like a small, injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. Hmm. You betrayed me? I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. But this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. Can I trust and virtue in? My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. But always be on guard. Particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. What do you think is this mastermind? I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine hmm. has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. That seems very strange. I never thought about Firefly being part of Kafka. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why. During this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Hmm. Are you going to beat me out of the memorial memory zone? Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused and sad. Whoever that girl might have been, a living soul, a memory that was meant to last, she simply vanished. 
like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companion for the truth and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is the right choice. Hmm. Hmm. You'll buy this girl. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Hmm. Oh boy, yes, we will talk to him in the next episode. Alright guys, I'm gonna be like subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.